Hey guys, Multiclassic Gamer here, and this is Dazzle HD. This is the capture card that I've been using for the past virtually six years to record my Let's Plays, now including uh, Let's Plays 1 through 3, which were uh, my original Luigi's Mansion Let's Play and Super Smash Bros. Brawl and uh, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. The, la late, the latter two actually ended up getting canceled, so I'm, cause I'm, I'm gonna be redoing them anyways with this capture card, so yeah, no point in going back and finishing those. But anyways, yes, this is the capture card. Um, this thing is at least six years old. At least six years old. I don't know when Dazzle HD came out, but I do know that this thing is at least half a decade old. Um, I've been using this pretty much for every Let's Play, and it still works this very day. Don't believe me? Well, just watch my latest Let's Play episode, and you'll see it is indeed still working. So, you know, I figure why, why fix it if it ain't broke, you know? But yes, yeah, this is the capture card itself. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people, have asked over the years how I record my videos, and this is how I do it. Um, you have the capture card itself right here, and on the back end is a cord, and this cord uh, plugs into my computer in the back, where the uh, basically where wherever you can find a USB port in a computer, you just plug it in, and then you get your game console. And here's the thing. <laughs> Dazzle HD does not support HDMI. It only supports uh, composite and S-Video. That's pretty much it. So, basically, if you're going to record a console on this, it has to be one that supports composite or S-Video. And so I've been using that all these years. And that's why I've been kind of discouraged on doing, you know, Let's Plays on newer consoles, because... I'd rather wait until I get a capture card that supports HDMI for those. So in the meantime, kind of that kind of leaves me with the the Wii and the Wii U with the with the composite uh, you know plug-in, and well, basically every Nintendo console is out up to this point. Um, of course, I haven't recorded, I haven't used it to record any other um, consoles yet besides Nintendo stuff. So I might, you know, eventually I'm gonna move over to PlayStation. But you know, you get the idea. So yes, um, this is the capture card itself, and basically these are the these two um, outlets right here are for audio. Um, your left left uh, white cable and the and the right red cable, and then S video goes here, and then right your composite video goes here. So um, and I happen to have a really really neat little device, little uh, set of cords basically. Basically, it's a, it's a long cord that you can plug into uh, PS3, Wii, or Xbox 360. Like it has three different ends to it. It's it's kinda, I this thing is really awesome. I picked it up last year actually. Because, and it was simply because I needed to, re, I needed an S-Video cable. Um, so you have this thing right here. You can actually switch between a uh, component and composite because this thing also does component. Um, but my capture card doesn't, so I have to use composite on my capture card, well, S-Video. And the thing with S-Video is that you wouldn't really, it looks a lot like um, composite, and you wouldn't notice the difference until you show, you see both of them side by side, or like you, you just compare the two. Then you'll really see a difference because when you compare S video to composite, composite looks really, really fuzzy and and kind of blurry-ish. And I actually had an S video cable um, as early as 2011, I think. And then for some reason it stopped working in 2014 or something, so I switched back to um, composite video. And from then on, I can notice the the crappy quality in some of my videos, like, especially the later Metroid Prime episodes, like, from 40, uh, 42 up until the end of Let's Play, that was all in, uh, composite video, composite video. The other episodes were in S-Video, and those looked amazing, and so was Metroid Prime 2. Well, the first, I want to say the last 30, 
the first 38 episodes were in S video or composite and they went back to S video. So those are just basically examples on, on those things. So anyways, we're gonna plug it in here real quick. So I'm just gonna show you guys how this works sort of. So you got your, and, it, and it's, another thing's really nice about this cord is that it labels the ends of it. So you have the L audio, that's white, so it goes in here. And then this one's the, uh, well, we'll skip that for now. That's the that's the composite video. And then we have the R audio, that's red, goes in here. And so now you have your audio for your games. And now, we'll plug in the S video. This is S video right here. It looks kind of weird at the end of it, but trust me, it's well worth it to have this. It just, it, it looks so much better than compo composite, composite, bleh, composite video. It's kind of hard to plug it in though, but once you once you get it in, it goes right in. You just kind of have to twist it around till it until it goes in. That's about it. Now I don't really have any reason to plug in composite video since I'm not using it, but that's pretty much how it goes. So that's basically how you how you plug in your uh, system into your computer. That's how I do it. But there's still a matter of how you're going to record it, basically, because the only thing this thing does technically is just display the game on your computer. And so, what I do then is I open up Pinnacle Studio. This is actually Pinnacle Studio 20 Plus, I should say. Um, I go to Import. I think this is it. Pinnacle Studio 20 Plus, is it? Or maybe it's just regular Pinnacle Studio 20. I think I think it's just regular Pinnacle Studio 20. Uh, we'll get into that moment. But basically, I open up Import. It takes a moment. And this screen comes up. And then I turn on my Wii console. Okay, so we're getting to the software bit of this, actually, so I should probably stop real soon. But I'm just going to show you, I just want to show you the stuff that I'm using to record my videos with. This is my capture card that records the games. But you're probably wondering, what microphone am I using to record my voice? Because I do, as you know, I commentate over my Let's Plays. So I have a tendency to do that. This right here is what I'm currently using to record my voice. This is the Turtle Beach headset, X12 Ear Force, I think is what's officially called. Uh, I've seen various people using this on YouTube, so I guess I'm not the only one, but it's well worth it. It's, uh, I think it's about 50 to 60 bucks. Capture Card uh, Dazzle HD is about 100 bucks too, at least it was back in 2010. Uh, it's probably cheaper now that it's outdated, or maybe it's more expensive because it's outdated. I don't know. I just don't know. All I know is, is that once this thing stops working, I will get an HD a capture card that supports HDMI as well as composite if I possibly can. And uh, that'll be that. So I turn on my Wii, and now it is displaying on this screen here. I have shown this screen several times, but I guess this is where I should probably get into the fact that uh, for the first... Uh, up until July or August, I want to say, of this year, I was using Pinnacle Studio 14 to record my videos. I got Pinnacle Studio 14 with this capture card. It came with the capture card. And so it ended up costing a total of 200 bucks, actually, I think. But I don't know for sure the exact cost because it was given to me as a Christmas present. That's the thing. People have asked me how much my capture card cost, but I can't tell them because it was a Christmas present back in the day. Um, but yes, it was a uh, Pickle Studio 14. I used it for six years up until, you know, up until August or July this year. And then I finally, finally updated it to Pinnacle Studio 20. And thankfully it did not take that much time to get used to. It does do, it does have some stupid bugs every now and then. But they're not that difficult to work around. Sometimes I just have to reboot my computer in order to get it working. But, you know, there you have it. And so this video is up to 10 minutes now. So I'm going to stop right now. I'm going to make this a, a two-part video. Um, in the next part, I'm going to get more into the software of it. But I think I'll end off this video real quick to show you, by showing you guys the difference, difference between S-Video and Composite Video. So here's S-Video. And here's Composite. You can't really notice the difference here, but especially through a camera, but from my end, I can easily notice the difference here. Once again, S video. Composite. Again, it's really hard to tell the difference, especially through a camera, but if you view them side by side, 
um, through the through your own eyes, then it's really easy to see it. Just trust me on this, and if you really, really want to see a, a true example, just watch, uh, let's say, just switch, switch between episodes 42 and 41 in Metroid Prime, and you will notice a difference. So, or 38 and 39 Metroid Prime 2. You know, those are just the two differences I have from the top of my head. And so, um, that's going to be for this for this uh, part one video here. Um, join me next time where I'll get more into the software. Um, I would record this using a screen capture device, but uh, I think I'd have to rebuy Fraps. I'm kind of... Uh, I'm starting to kind of tighten down on my on my spending habits, so I'm going to have to refrain from buying fraps for now. So unfortunately, I'll have to use the, I'll have to use the camera again to show you guys what I'm doing, how I'm editing my videos, because like I'd like to also do that. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Goodbye.